Okay, boys, final video of today is a 50 minute world record for Leviathan. I don't think you've seen anybody react to this chat. Wait, so this is 48 minutes and 45 seconds. Wow, that's fast. And I'm looking even here right now, chat. Somebody has a round 30 speed run in 33 minutes and a round 70 speed run in 90 minutes. What the fuck? How's that even possible? So obviously he's starting up here, chat. Let's play a little bit. Uh, let's play a little background music right here. Uh, oh no, he's, wait, why did he reset? Oh, maybe bad challenges or something? So obviously, yeah, first thing he's got to do is get back in chat. I'm so excited to see a man go back and play Leviathan. This is great, dude. I'm so happy that we're seeing an actual world record run here. Obviously, he's going to go for the shark helmet. You need to take out all the sharks around the map. So it's like, what, seven sharks or something? It's a lot, dude. Chat, when was the last time you played Leviathan, dude? For me, it's been way too long. I think it could, it's got to be at least four to six months for me, at least. I definitely need to go back and play it. Also, I'm assuming he's going to go for wrench here and just instantly try and end these rounds. 40 seconds for round one is really good here. Also, he goes for that nuke from the shark and doesn't wait, which I find super interesting. So he's not going for the mines now. He's just getting as many shots as he physically can in. Honestly, if I was him, at least grab the M14 for next round. My man is zoom. Oh, a lucky insta-kill. I think he's saving it for round three, though. Nope, he's going for it. He's going for it. Yep, he's going for it. Um, chat, honestly, because this is a speed run, I don't think he's going to be going for anything special for a helmet here. I'm assuming he's could be... Oh, he's already zooming. Oh, so he's not doing the time trial. Okay, he's grabbing PM63 off the wall here. Unless he's going to finish it up here. What the heck? So maybe he's actually not going for the wrench. I'm shocked. He's also maximizing these points. Again, drop heavy luck as well. Getting a max ammo, getting a nuke from the shark, plus a double points, plus an insta kill. This guy's gotten every single drop in the game in the first two and a half minutes of gameplay. What the heck is going on here? Also, two minute 40 for about to hit round five here. You also have to beat round five in under five minutes to get that wrench. So... This is, this is the thing that I don't get, bro. Uh, so my man is literally just zooming. Again, I think it's a, a very interesting play to get the PM63, like I said, because I've never seen this. Usually, I think it's better to just camp and spawn, but it's looking like the spawns are fast enough to where he can't get it. Listen, he needs that wrench because you need points on this map. This map has so many doors. Again, the nuke is not even that bad there because it ends round. Great nuke, honestly. Chat, is this lucky? He's getting an insane drop luck right here. Doesn't need to get any more ammo for the PM63 here because all he needs to do now is end round and he'll get the wrench in the next room, which makes sense. I get it, dude. The wrench is just behind him in the next room, so it makes sense as to why he's doing this PM63 shot. Ooh, dang. It could have been all over right there. This man did the five minute challenge at four minutes and 27. That's insane. Gets the wrench, goes right towards getting the parts for the water staff for Leviathan. My man is legit zooming here. He's doing this on a perfect round as well. Getting the creeper and the crawlers here. My man also needs to be extremely lucky with the perks that he's getting here. Double tap is a great perk because you need it for the boss fight. He's already starting on step one. He's got the man. I think his name is Dr. Zav. Oh, no, no. Zav is the other guy that you escort. He's got the man in the tube ready. I believe he could be going for shield parts here. And now he's going to the hacker spot. He absolutely needs the hacker. I don't think he's going to go for the shark helmet here. I believe what he is going to go for is the uh, the golden ABA. He, yeah, he's getting the zab thing done where he just needs to interact on the door. He's getting points on mule kick. He's getting the skull as well. That's great. He can't breathe in the water right now because he's only holding the hacker. He needs to get the shark helmet. And I believe he's about to do that. Oh, no. He's going right into the steps. Wow, okay, so he is already on like step three, basically, where you basically just need to hit all the buttons in order. The best zombies map that can be a little bit different or you know, difficult. Black Ops he's hacking all of the terminals here for the guy in the troop. And now he's going to do some Simon Says up here. He can probably tell what it is just from the sounds of it. He's got crawlers as well. This guy is killing it, dude. He's got a double blue here. And so all this really does is it gives you a code that you need to put in the submarine to get a valve. And that valve, 
lets you do more Easter egg steps. It's just one of those maps, chat. Uh, so my man is just going to hold the crawler right here, which is a great play. Uh, he knows exactly what the code is. So my man's now, he's finally got the code. Uh, did he finish up all the hacks here? I think he did. So he finished up all the hacks here. And now he's going to go into the Pack-a-Punch. Is it? Is he getting lucky here? Oh, dude, it's so hard to see. So now that he's done all the switches, yeah, he's definitely going to go for Golden ABA because it's the fastest helmet to get out of all of them. The God Mask, you have to do all three challenges. It's too much. Okay, he's doing one of the steps where you need to essentially hit all the switches around the map. You can audibly hear them, but uh, yeah, dude, it's, it's crazy. So my man is now, right now, looking for all the switches. Again, the R amount of RNG here is crazy. That's what I thought. I was like, there's no way my man finished all the hacks. Oh, he's playing it risky with his zombie doing it. Okay, so I believe he's he's hitting all of these now to get the rest of the corresponding switches. Um, he already got the quicker vibe, so that was a little bit of a waste of time there as well. He's getting great spawns for the perks here to get all of the points he can maximize. I believe he's almost about to get the golden ABA here, which is crazy. He's listening it in for the last switch. It could be in this room as well. Oh, he's also going to hack this to get the free Gersh device, which is an absolute mandatory thing to do. Oh, he's going to do the Gersh device first here on round eight. Dang, that's interesting as hell. Uh, so yeah, he's fin finishing this up. He's getting insane luck with the drops. Another double points with the wrench. So that's 260 points a kill. This man is racking the points. And this is all he needs to do right now. The spawns here are very fast. He probably only needs a couple more until he gets that code. Yeah, he's just going for it. He needs to kill as many as possible to maximize that double points. He's got 7k up in one round. I think he's looking for the switch here. I don't think it's here. So yeah, oh, the switch is in the biodome. It's right there. Yeah, uh, that's so unlucky. But hey, honestly, that was a good round. I think he has enough for the code. I didn't see if he got the code there for the Gersh. Oh yeah, he went. He's going into pack bunch now because now he can put in his other code and get the valve and his code is always random it's 8337 in this game and there you go gets the valve and gets the f out of oh is he gonna spawn in the gersh i guess he forgot the code oh no is he oh no no chat he's doing the excavator codes that's a great idea because you need to do all the excavators you for the golden aba so yeah he's doing all the excavator codes he's gotten all three down he's doing great dude listen for 15 minutes like, I know people might be like, bro, this is so slow, but no. Like, this Easter egg is easily one of the more challenging ones, man. It is not easy. So, my man needs 20 kills here to activate the soul. The portal has now opened for the mini boss. Um, if I was him, I would also get Semtexes here because I know you want to keep the M1911 to just instantly upgrade here. He's running back for something before he heads into the boss fight. I'm not totally sure exactly what. He put in the valve already. Is that... He, I think he forgot that. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, no, no, he forgot the one on the right here. Oh, he's... Okay, that's what he's waiting for. He's he's waiting for Pap. Yeah, again, the, the, the RNG of the Pack Munch not also being in the right spot can be so infuriating too. So he's waiting for Pap right now. So finally, Pack Munch is coming over here. He can Pack Munch. Uh, you can't Pack Munch the wrench. So I'm assuming he's just here to Pap the M1911. Uh, oh, is he going for Gersh? Oh, he could be also getting his free Gersh's here too. That could be a massive play. Let's see. What, yeah. Oh, a fire sale. Oh, I did not know about that. Whoa! Oh my gosh! If he pulls harpoon gun here, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Maybe? Oh, you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna get rid of M1911 for a bullet gun. Oh yeah, that's easily what he's gonna do. Finally, my man is getting the last one in. He's got Dr. Zab about 23 minutes in. All he needs to do is walk him around the whole map just once you walk him around the whole map and then he opens up the crystal upgrade which he can literally also instantly get done before he goes into the the first boss fight and the second boss fight is leviathan this is just so easy honestly dude if i was him i would have gotten phd here for sure because he just could have used the mustangs to to protect this guy also he's gonna use literally every single bullet here i don't think chat does he actually make this with literally no ammo if i was him i'd literally sh shoot the shark and hope for the best Okay, great. He's finally getting PhD here. He's finally utilizing just letting the zombies hit them so he doesn't interrupt Zav, which is a great thing. So also, Chad, keep in mind, he's almost done this Easter egg. 
We're th half an hour into this run. He's gotten the ship down. He's gotten the uranium. And also, it's so he, it makes so much sense now why he's going for the golden AVA. Because you need the whole map to be underwater to basically bring the uranium to the guy in the tube. Which makes so much sense. Because if you don't, it makes that loud hissing noise. He's definitely missing something here. What is he missing? Yeah, he's trying to figure out what he's missed. Oh, maybe it just didn't load in or something. Maybe he didn't stay in the room long enough. Oh, it just went. Oh, my man's got to go. Yeah, yeah, he was just too slow. Oh, go, 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 go. Run, run, run. Nice. Okay, so he hit it. So right now, he's put, going to put in the code for the Gersh. Throw it at the guy in the tube. And then he's basically boss fight ready. One. Oh, it was one, one, three. I didn't even see that last time. I thought it was all four ones. Okay, so my man's throwing the Gersh. He's teleporting the mans, and yeah, unfortunately, he has to wait for the dialogue here because he has to pick up the uh, golden rod to continue. And chat, he's gonna do the whole boss fight in under three minutes? No way, I wanna see this. So there you go, Leviathan's coming out. That base, though, chat, listen to that base. He has the reserve soda perk, so it gives him a little bit more ammo here. Really? He's gonna be able to shoot him with the Mustangs? Wow! But dude, look, he's only... I guess that's done phase one. Wow. What? Wow, that was the fastest phase one I've ever seen. Wow, chat, Mustang and Sally's OP. Is he going to do a wipe here? Oh, no, he swapped sides. Wow, he's getting lucky in the boss fight too because the boss has not even done a wipe yet. But dude, this is literally going to be an easy kill. He's just letting him take him down. I'm not a huge Moon fan and since there's a lot of same mechanics to turn me off, but times have changed. Yeah, dude. Wow, 48, 46, chat. That was the fastest Leviathan death I've ever seen. But ladies and gentlemen, I think... I'm going to end my stream here, boys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you guys so much for coming out to the stream. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you guys for the gifters, the primers, the lovers, the summers. So chat, let me know what you guys are going, boys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Great stream, boys. And ladies and gentlemen, I leave you with...